Hello. Uh, this video has been requested um, by Team Maluk as uh, they have instructed me to read their championship fantasy football statement. Um, so I'm going to do that. Here we go. We would draft a championship statement, but what would be the point? To do so would be to imply that a relevant contest took place. To recap the season would suggest that it was worth recapping, but for those who insist, here is what transpired. A clearly superior team consisting of even-minded, cool-headed twin brothers exerted an indisputable and ruthless ass-kicking on an impotent, impotent group of overmatched buffoons. With no transactions, minimal lineup changes, and frankly no interest, Team Maluk weekly jettisoned opponents into abject irrelevancy. There are no winners here. For Team Maluk, this was too easy. Given that we cruised to the league championship at only our second season, we'll have to reevaluate if we want to move on from this debacle of a league. We feel we're more suited for a league where we're confident that our opponent each week will at least have the most rudimentary grasp of the basics of football. Most of you understand our potential desire to move on from this embarrassment of a league, but I may need to make our intentions clearer to Drew Paz. Drew, just imagine Team Maluk is Rutgers, Syracuse, Pittsburgh, Villanova, Georgetown, St. John's, Marquette, DePaul, Seton Hall, or Providence. We're leaving the Big East because it's a joke. Meanwhile, you, UConn, will be left drifting away in the Conference USA of Fantasy Football Leagues. Just pray that we don't take Stephen and Andrew with us if we do leave. Um, on top of that, actually, I just got a text from the older Maluk. Peter Maluk uh, has texted in. It is his birthday today. Um, but, yeah, Mark, uh, uh, he said, Gonzalez and Rogers went bananas in the playoff game um, to keep the Team Maluk role going. Um, so there you go. Well, once again, congrats to Maluk. Um, so there you have it.